And this is John from The Cupboard, and we can find this great piece in the store. Tell us a little bit about this. Um, this is like, a, it's actually a belt buckle, so it's wearable, and it's a pipe also. So it's really convenient, like you're at a festival and nobody has a pipe, and then all of a sudden you're like, oh, yeah, yeah we have a pipe. Boom. I actually used them like that before. And it's, it's actually just, I don't really smoke these very often. It's just kind of like a wearable item. And that's the best thing about it is, I don't know. I, I actually skateboard with them on. People are always worried that they're going to be uh, fragile or something like that, but they're not. They're actually very durable. I've like fallen on the ground and slid on them before and they were okay. I've never actually broken one wearing it. And I skateboard with one every day. So uh, I don't know. I've been making them since 2010 when I was in, I went to Japan and I was working with Yoshinori Kondo and he saw that I had made some belt buckles but they weren't pipes, they were just regular belt buckles. And he's like, why don't you push a bowl into that and make it a pipe? And I was like, yeah, that's a really good idea. So I did it. <laughs> yeah. So some lucky customer is going to buy this and have it in their home and wear it. What would you tell them? What's a backstory? What should they know about what went into making this? Um, well, years and years of learning how to make these discs nice and flat and even and thin and, um, you know, the patterns and whatnot, learning all that stuff. Uh, I don't know. Other than that, I mean, there's a lot of bell buckles on the market, but not that many that are pipes. So. Um, they probably should know that they're pretty rare too because I don't make that many of them. Like as you can see here, I only had like eight of them all together. So or, yeah, something like that, maybe nine, nine or something like that. So they're rare and, and a lot of people collect them and they don't even like, actually a lot of people wear one from their collection, but they won't wear them all. They kind of just keep them aside just to look at. Yeah, so they're special for sure, yeah. Who or what inspired you to get into this business? Um, oh, that's a good question. I mean, I started in, in 2000, but I first saw uh, pipes in 97 when I was working at the smoke shop. I turned 18, and uh, as soon as I turned 18, I started applying for this job at the smoke shop, trying to get the job, and I finally got the job, and I worked there for like six years. Um, a couple years after that, I started blowing glass. The owner of the shop started a glass shop, and so he was making his own products in-house, and I started making production work, and that's how I got started. Um, early on, I learned from Darby Holm. Um, he's actually here. Some, I think he has some work here. He might actually be doing AGE, the other show, but uh, he's my, one of my main inspirations, and uh, he was teaching a really good friend I went to high school with named Mike Luna, and Mike Luna taught me for the first couple of years. And that's where I started my roots. And it's just kind of been a steady increase. I've learned from a lot of really good artists like Banjo. And um, I've been working with Robert Mickelson recently and uh, work with a lot of other artists too. Um, so it's just been constant inspiration and progression over the years and just keeping, keeping everything going forward. And um, I'm really grateful and blessed to to be a part of this community. It's, it's been really awesome. So you've had a lot of collaborations. What would you choose as a favorite piece? As a favorite collaboration piece? Or, or just your favorite piece in general? Favorite piece in general. There's been a lot of them. I mean, I don't really know uh, which one I would say would be the favorite, favorite piece, but I've done a lot of different collabs. I did some with Banjo that were really cool. We, I helped him work on this one called Queen Amidala, and it was like Queen Amidala from Star Wars. And um, there's actually a hat pin that has been made of it. And I made this like necklace thing. It took me like eight hours just to make this like necklace that she was wearing. It was pretty cool. Um, that was a really fun one. I mean, there's been so many amazing collabs over the years that's like really hard to say. I did one with Nady. Um, one of my good friends, his name is Nady. Um, and it was like an upline piece. It was like this big. It was all Rasta colors and all of the horns had Millies and Opals in them and I did like uh, these like kind of these kind of patterns on all the discs and it took us like over a week to make it. It was a really sweet piece at the time. That was back in 2009 I think so it was a while ago. Maybe 2010. Are you doing anything new that you haven't done before? Uh, 
Yeah, I recently did some collaborations with Joe Peters in this case here, and they're like all like the um, reef, coral reef theme type pieces. Um, and I, I basically made the this like base piece for him to add all of his sea life onto. And we did a couple of different collaborations of that. And I've been doing collaborations with like tons of people. Um, almost, I would say 80% of the work in these cases right now is all collaboration work. So. Uh, there's a lot of stuff. I did a collab with Sagan, collab with Laceface, collab with um, Salt, collab with um, Steve Sizelove and Robert Mickelson, collabs with Snick, collab with Punty. Um, there's like so many. I mean, there's more too. I um, did some collabs with Elbow that are across the way over there and um, tons of collabs basically. <laughs> yeah. What's your favorite perk being um, a glass blower? Making perks percolators no kidding <laughs> no. <laughs> um, but I'd say it's just the community and like the sharing aspect of the what the pipe represents really is like it represents sharing the pipe is meant to pass around so you know you like pass the pipe and that's what we do that's what our community does and that's why everything is growing so quickly and changing so quickly it's because that's what we do is we we pass the pipe so um, and that, that's what sets us apart from, say, other glass communities, like glass art community or other things. They're a little more secretive about their techniques, and it's just, it's just been ripped wide open by the pipe community, and we don't, we don't care about that stuff. Like, I teach classes all around the country, I mean, even all around the world, I've traveled all over the place teaching, and um, we don't charge a lot of money to teach. I mean, just basically make what we need to make to pay our expenses and whatnot. And, I really enjoy it. It's gratifying to share and to teach people techniques and stuff, and um, so I just keep doing that. And um, that's definitely some of the perks, I would say. There's a lot of perks. Um, and I feel really lucky to be a part of this com this growing community. It's really small still, and it's just gonna keep going up, especially with the legalization that's been happening here in Colorado and Washington and what's gonna happen in other states after they see how much money we're making by legalizing it so <laughs> so the cupboard wants to help you stay in touch with your fans what kind of social media and where can we find you do you use um i'm on facebook and instagram instagram would be uh yushin and you can see i have tons of photos and i post photo post work all the time on instagram that Instagram's probably the best because um, i can have as many followers as i want to on Facebook, they limit me to 5,000 followers. And I did start an artist page, and I can have as many as I want, but I'm not very good at updating it. So Instagram seems to be the best. It's the purest content. There's not a lot of ads. It's like, it's, it's simple, it's to the point. You see a video or a picture, you can like it. There's a link maybe to another website on there or something like that. So um, I'd say that's the best way um, for me as an artist. I don't have a website set up yet because most of my work sells right out of the kiln pretty much. Um, the work that I have here, I had to force myself to save it because people were trying to buy it as it was finished. So we're really like really blessed to be able to do that and we're just gonna keep doing it as much as possible. So is there a story behind this piece that we can find in the cupboard? Yeah, yeah. So this is a collaboration with Salt. Um, he also has work here at the Galleria. And uh, he made this eye and you know this crazy skin that's going on on this like monster guy on the front. And then on the back I did this like wigwag section and it's a pipe of course. So uh, it's our first belt buckle collab. I'm sure we'll hopefully do some more in the future. Um, we did one other collab piece that's in the other case. It's called It's Okay, We're in Colorado. Which is really funny because it, he's got a joint in his hand and <laughs> it's a real joint because it's okay we can do that here <laughs> but yeah. so some lucky customer is going to take this home and it's going to be part of their collection give them a little backstory that they need to know story about this uh, i don't know it was kind of spontaneous i was like hey lucan we should make this uh make a belt buckle pipe and he's like yeah let's do it and it was kind of last second because um, he was getting ready to pack up and go to the next studio and we did it anyways, and we, we did it real late at night. I think we finished it at like four in the morning. So that's, I'd say about it, yeah. I gotta get him to sign it. It's not signed yet, so. Make sure it's signed by Saul and me, well, both. Well, you can find my some of my work and lots of other great artist work at coveredglasspipes.com.
One last question. We all know that glass blowing can be dangerous. Have you had any uh, injury experience? Oh yeah, I've got scars and burns all over myself, but it, I don't mind it. I'm actually a skateboarder, so um, I learned how to fall really well skateboarding. So anything I've gotten from glass blowing doesn't compare to what I've had in skateboarding. Eugene, thanks for joining us on the Cupboard's Artist Insights on CupboardGlassPipes.com.